The easiest integral to find is the integral of e to the x dx because it just turns out to be itself, e to the x plus c. And in fact, you could say that e to the y dy is equal to e to the y plus c, or e to the u du is equal to e to the u plus c, which is on most rule sheets or uh, tables of rules in calculus. And the reason they use u is hopefully to remind you that if there's something different up top, it'll be a u substitution. So I have the integral of e to the 3x dx. That's not e to the 3x. And so what do we do with that problem is we have to do a u substitution. So we'll let u equal 3x. That'll make that problem turn into e to the u. And du is 3dx. Unfortunately, we don't have a 3 in there, but we can put one in. So e to the 3x times 3dx. But again, that would not be the same as the original unless we divide by 3 or put a 1 third on the outside. Then we replace all the x's with their corresponding u co components, and we get 1 third e to the u du, which of course then integrates the 1 third e to the u. Notice I didn't put the limits of integration there because 0 and 1 are x numbers, and if we change over to u, those numbers for x will change into different numbers for u. So instead, we'll back sub and get 1 third e to the 3x evaluated from 1 to 0. So that turns into 1 third e cubed minus 1 third e to the 0. Now remember that e to the 0 is 1. So our final answer is 1 third e cubed minus 1 third.